Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. First of all, thank you everyone for liking my videos and my content. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to discuss about a banana bond in, you know, the dimer of uh, small member links. See, basically, you might have heard about banana bond or bent bond in cyclopropane molecules, right? That electron density is out of the bond and out of the cycle and it has a later overlapping of orbitals which results in the bent and banana bond in cyclopropane molecule right and also about the hybridization and new concept and new theories in this molecule about hybridization all those things i'll be talking in this video so let's get started so first we have see these are the different various molecular system that we already have it okay first is the Wolf's model right this is the Wolf's model in the case of Wolf's model you already know which is talking about only the endo bonding which is like the inside ring whatever bonding is possible he is talking about that only right and Wolf's model is based on the sp2 hybridization of carbon atom okay it is specially using uh, that carbon to be sp2 hybridized now I like later on I'll tell you what is the problem behind this sp2 hybridization. Okay. Now come to the, the next model is the Coulson and Moffett model, which talks about the first time he's talking about the bent bond or banana bond. Okay. And in this paper he is talking about the isovalent hybridization. So first for this hi isovalent hybridization, see generally we have sp2, sp3, s and sp3d, right? Those things are general. If we have hybridization in form of fraction, like see here, if the, the hybridization you can see is sp4.1, uh, sp right? That is the CC bond hybridization. You see, it is in the fraction. So we call them as isovalent hybridization, right? So Coulson and Moffitt band Moffitt bond model talks about the isovalent hybridization. And then we have a Randic and Maxic model which talks about the sp5 and sp2 of ch bonds and cc1 to be sp5 hybridization so these are the basic you know uh, chemical bonding in cyclopropane molecule and to be noted all of these bonding like molecules and models are only for the inside ring right not for the exo only for endo bonds within a ring and if you want to go for with more details you can go through these uh, references that we have given here now see from this we know that carbon has sp2 hybridization based on walls for a time being if we just keep isovalent hybridization intact or away because that is not going to helpful in explaining that you know some of the organic molecules now let's see we have some molecular pairs okay so what is the molecule in this case you have a three membered ring that is the epoxy and this is just the dimer of epoxy molecule okay epoxy that same molecule epoxide or oxy ring this is just the dimer of that right <clears throat> so these are various you know isomers of the of this molecule depending on the like how what which way you are keeping this epoxy group here it is trans here it is cis here this um, carbon framework is also like it has a is, uh, it is a kind of uh, it is also transway, right? So this framework is same, and here it is like within a like cissoidal kind of system, right? So these are the various isomer possible. One thing to note down is you see that see if we assume that this carbon is sp2 hybridized and this is also sp2 hybridized, right? So this bond has to be sorted, right? Which is 1.493 body sorting. That is for sure everywhere this exo bond this is the exo bond which is like sorted right and walls is telling that this carbon is sp2 hybridized and if we use that analogy then like we can like assume that this carbon will be partially having double bond character and we see also right it has a sorted bond line but the problem is see if you are having a conjugation you know that if there is a conjugation there will be some stabilization coming from the conjugation, right? Okay, now you take one molecule, benzene, and remove all of the double bond and put epoxy group. Fine. 
if we assume that carbon is sp2 hybridized and that is giving you the stability in your molecule then what we expect is even if you replace the uh, three member ring like that benzene molecule with epoxy groups then aromaticity should be there right which is missing means even though Walsh is telling it is sp2 hybridized but it is not giving the aromatic stabilization so what is the reason behind that so what we found is that sp2 hybridized model is not explaining uh, you know the exo bond in these uh, small membrane ring okay so to explain this peculiarity in the bonding in the exo bonds in the cyclopropane molecule or epoxy molecules ah, let's see all these are three membrane ring so what we do uh, done have what we have done is we have used group theory to come up with the sp hybridized based model that i'll be explaining further so yeah one thing i'll tell you here when i think forgot see here the cc bond length is 1.493 right and here it is 1.513 like here it is elongated even though like if you assume this is a sp2 hybridized this is, see in all of these cases here just take this as a reference these two as a reference all other are increasing why it is happening if it is conjugated in every place it has to be conjugated right but it is not happening like that even if you take compare a and e even in this case the carbon framework like this carbon is having in the same plane but still there is a variation in the cc bond length why it is happening so to you know to solve this puzzle we came up with one another model based on sp hybridization so i'll explain how we come up with this model so in the left side we have this symmetry adapter linear combinations of cyclopropane models where we have a radial p orbital this is a cyclopropane model okay we are just taking the frontiers okay okay in this case these are the radial p orbitals okay this is the uh, uh, descendant radial p orbital here this is the descendant s orbital and this is the tangential p orbital for this uh, cyclo um, propane molecule and this is the perpendicular p orbital perpendicular to the, this uh, ring okay and this is the tangential tangential to this ring so this is the degenerate this is the non degenerate and so we have four types of you know orbitals here radial tangential perpendicular and the s orbital okay if you clearly see what we observe is this s orbital right and this radial p orbital right s orbital and radial p orbital they have same symmetry even this even this even this and even this right so what we observe that they mix and form sp hybridized orbitals see the beauty same since the both of them have same symmetry they will mix right and what they form is on mixing they will generate sp hybridized orbitals which is coming from the s orbital of that three member ring and the radial p orbital which will give you this sp hybridized and we if you con consider this tangential this is the coming from this only sp hybridized model tangential p orbital and this is the uh, this is also kind of perpendicular p orbital which is also a tangential in another way fine and this is the sp type lone pair of oxygen see generally oxygen will be having two type of lone pair one is sp type another is p type lone pair in group theory we generally consider lone pair to be similar and that's how we uh, we don't discriminate between the types of lone pairs generally but both of the lone pairs are of different type even in h2 molecule one of the lone pair is sp type another lone pair is the fully p type there is a difference between them okay now based on the sp hybridized model okay based on this sp hybridized system what we came up with is the sp hybridized like orbital of this three member ring is mixing with the tangential p orbital of this ring so whenever we have a this dimer of this molecule epoxy molecule in a trans way here what happens the sp hybrid orbital this gray color is the sp hybrid orbital 
and this black color is also sp hybrid orbital they are in the opposite direction that's why it is uh, dark and light so this is the downside sp hybrid orbital and this is the uh, perpendicular p orbital sp they are mixing nicely so this is a favorable interaction whenever we have this kind of situation that bond is getting shorter and also i'll tell you one thing see you can see the electron density is outside the bond right so this is also resulting in bent banana bond understood so not only inside three member ring even outside that three member ring the bonds are bent banana bond understood so that is the beauty of this theory that we proposed in 20, uh, 2020 in jpcc if you want to see this paper you can go and go through the details if you have doubt you can ask me any time so in this theory we propose that this cc bond is also bent or banana bond why because it has a mixing coming from this sp hybrid orbital and this sp perpendicular to this this p type orbital perpendicular to this three member ring which is nicely mixing in this case in this case also they are opposite sides are mixing means giving you better results good overlap and that's the reason cc bonds are getting shorter if you see the previous if you will go and see uh, this molecular model so that first was this one where this cc bond is shortening and this is also cc bonding shortening because in both of the case we have favorable interaction this sp and p p orbital of this three member ring tangential p is nicely mixing and that is giving you the reduced cc bond line while in these two cases which correspond to which correspond to this down three isomers and this three uh, this side so middle isomer so in this case what happens this p and this p is mixing this sp and sp is mixing the same type of orbital is mixing which is not a favorable and that's how that cc bond length is not decreasing instead it is slightly increasing so in this video what i have taught is not only three member ring that cc bond in the cyclopropane is bent or banana bond even when it is dimerized that exo bond is also bent banana bond okay the electron density is outside the bond and there is a lateral overlap if you can see uh, like of the orbitals and which results in the bent banana bond thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt pertaining to this specific theory that we proposed you can always approach me and you can write in the comment box thank you for watching